Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson we are going to learn some words. They are called one word substitutes. So let's get started. Now the first word you are going to learn is theist. Who is a theist? One who believes in God is a theist. Well, one who doesn't believe in God is an atheist. So, theist and atheist. So, what are the two words? Theist and atheist. One who believes in God is called a theist. One who doesn't believe in God is an atheist. So, instead of expressing your idea in a long sentence, you can just use the word theist or atheist to refer to such people. Now, the next word. The next word is teetotaler. Who is a teetotaler? One who doesn't take alcohol is a teetotaler. That means he doesn't take any liquor or any drinks, which is also called as alcohol. He is called a teetotaler. It's a nice word. And one who is very fond of food and drinks is a gourmet. G-O-U-R-M-E-T. Well, you can't pronounce this as gourmet or gourmet. You pronounce this as gourmet, gourmet. So one who is fond of food and drinks is a gourmet. And one who doesn't take any alcohol is a teetotaler. Now the next word is polyglot. Who is a polyglot? One who can speak many languages is called a polyglot. So next time you know a person who can speak many languages, what do you call that person? You call that person polyglot. Now the next word for today is fanatic. One who has excess love for religion or one who have rigid ideas about religion, who has too much of love for especially something like religion is a fanatic. It's not a very, very positive quality. We call the person as fanatic. And one who is against religion, who doesn't follow religion, who doesn't like religion at all, is a heretic. So these are opposites. One who excessively loves his or her religion, one's own religion, is a fanatic. But one who is against religion is a heretic. Now, one who has a lot of money is an affluent person or a wealthy person. And one who has no money is a pauper. He's penniless. You can also call him as penniless. The next word is flamboyant. Who is a flamboyant person? A very stylish man is called a flamboyant person. So somebody who, is, who has style, who is very stylish looking is a flamboyant person. Now the next word is a bohemian. Who is a bohemian? An unconventional person. An unconventional person is called a bohemian. That means he looks very different. He looks very different and he doesn't care much about his appearance and he looks conventionally different. He's not the regular kind of person. He doesn't look the regular kind of person. He's a bohemian. And there are some people who conform to rules and they conform to rules and they are called conformists. And they also want other people to follow all the rules. Such people are called martinets. Martinet. Which means they want people to be very, very uh, strict and rigid about the rules. They want everybody to follow the rules. They are called martinets. On the other hand, there are some people who do things very differently. They don't follow everything that people say or people do. Such people are called mavericks. Mavericks are people who do things according to their will, who don't follow rules and regulations who are very different in the way they think. They are non-conformists. 
but people who are conformists who conform to all the rules and want everyone to follow the rules is called a martinet now the next word is skeptical who is a skeptic person or a skeptical person a person who doubts everything is a skeptical person a person who doubts everything is a skeptical person and the next word is cynic who is a cynic one who questions everything one who questions everything is a cynic and the next one one who is very fussy about everything what is the meaning of fussy who wants everything to be proper and the way the person wants and the person is not satisfied with some things slightly complaining such people are called fastidious they want things to be proper they want things to be the way they want it to be so they are fussy about everything and they are called fastidious people or a fastidious person they can also be called a fussy person another interesting word is an eccentric person who is an eccentric person a person who is very moody who is not the same always is an eccentric person a crazy person who generally is you know who has different thoughts who is very moody by nature now the next word is a very clean and pure person who is always clean and tries to be perfect he is an immaculate person immaculate he doesn't like to be unclean he always likes to be clean and pure he is an immaculate person without any faults he tries to be perfect and the next one is one who travels widely who travels all over the world he is a globe trotter now the next word is one who is all powerful like god we call that person as omniscient who knows everything who is aware of everything he is called omniscient and a person who is very very powerful is called omnipotent so one who is all powerful is called omnipotent one who knows everything is called an omniscient person usually we don't refer to human beings as being omnipotent or omniscient and another word is omnipresent who is present everywhere generally we refer to god as omnipresent omniscient or omnipotent and the next word is a philanthropist the next word is philanthropist who is a philanthropist a person who has love for human kind who has love for human beings who likes to help people who loves human beings is called a philanthropist and one very interesting word is somniloquist so who is a somniloquist a somniloquist is a person who talks while he is sleeping and a somnambulist is a person who walks in his sleep it's quite strange but there are instances where people do walk in their sleep i'm sure if you read you might come across these instances of people walking in the sleep they are called somnambulists and people who talk in their sleep i think many of you must be doing that maybe even i am doing that so they are called as somniloquists and who is a person who settles in another country a person of one country goes and settles in another country he is called an immigrant and the next one is a person who can use both the hands very well he can use both his hands in a skilled manner such a person is called an ambidextrous person ambidextrous ambidextrous means he can use both his hands left hand as well as the right hand and next very interesting word is narcissist who is a narcissist a narcissist is a person who loves only himself or herself 
So they don't have love for others. They love themselves. So such a person is called a narcissist. And the next one is introvert. Who is an introvert? An introvert is a person who expresses his thoughts, who speaks out his mind and who mingles with people. Whereas an introvert is a person who is with himself. He doesn't like to express himself a lot. He doesn't like to mingle with people. So these are some of the words which are very interesting. And if you learn these words, you can use them to your advantage when you speak. And of course, you can boast that you have a lot of vocabulary. So enhance your vocabulary with these vocabulary video lessons. I'll come back with more. And I'm sure you enjoyed learning all these things today. And we'll come back with more such vocabulary videos wherein you can learn lots and lots of words. Because vocabulary is the key to language. It's the key to communication. So do continue to watch these videos. Like our videos, share and subscribe to our videos by Arrow Publications. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.